All right, Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakal Kadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And Shalom, salute to the elect from the least to the greatest. Now, this video is going to be called They Are Not in Trouble like, like the rest of them or the rest of men. And the reason why I. Uh, form that title is because uh lately every time jake is um confronted by the police um it's never a standoff they never um hold back they always um if they see jake with a gun they'll shoot uh to kill him instantly but if it's an edomite right they'll do all and i got video proof it's tons and tons and tons of video to show you that uh, these Esau don't play fair and that these devils ain't right. And hey, we know it. We can expect it. But it's you, Jake, that don't understand these devils. Um, so these, these e other Edomites will have guns. They'll even shoot at police. But police won't kill, shoot, shoot them down. They'll de-escalate the situation as much as they can. But as you can see, as, as the video I did yesterday, I know a couple of brothers did videos on it. The lady, um, the Jake woman, black woman, had a pot. He told her to, uh, they just wanted to kill that lady. But she, she, she told her to turn the pot off. She went over there and uh, he felt threatened. He had to shoot an a, 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 a unarmed lady down because she had a pot in her hand. Does that make sense? But I'm about to play this video, right? And this guy even shot at the police, and they still didn't shoot him down. So I just, I just want to show you something. All right, so let me open the screen up. The video, I, I got it from Midwest Safety uh, Video. So I'm going to go ahead and play the video. And watch how many times these Edomites, how many times, how they es de escalated the uh, situation. If this was a Jake, they would have shot him down. Even if they would have saw him with a gun. But watch this. Watch this. He's reaching. Steven, shut off the yeah, truck yeah. and get out. Watch crossfire. Watch crossfire. He's got a gun. Yeah. Drop the gun. Yeah. Hands up. Yeah. Hands up. Hands up. Oh, you're gonna shoot me? Put it down! <laughs> Drop the gun! The gun! Shot fired. You see that the cop even took cover. Took the cop even took cover and backed up. You know if this were was a Jake, they would have shot him down. But by it being an Edomite. They're going to de-escalate the system. I'm telling you, the, hey, we already know this. Us, uh, particularly Hebrew Israelites, but us uh, at Great Millstone, we know, we already know what to expect about these uh, devils. All right? That's why we tell you, Jake, time and time and time again, uh, these Edomites are not your friend. All right? But uh, Jake can have a cell phone in his hand, and a cop will... Um, feel threatened and that not only goes to america that goes all the way back to jacob and esau all right hence the reason why we do these videos we we showing you that these devils have that hatred towards you jake but when it comes to their own it's a spirit they see they don't they know they don't want to shoot this guy down let's go ahead Get back. Don't, don't, don't do it. Now, when uh, have you ever seen a situation where they give a person this amount of time and tell them to drop the gun this amount of time? Huh? I mean, that, that it's, it's, it's unbelievable. Well, I'm not saying it's unbelievable. We believe it. But to, to the, the, the rest of the public, it, they can't understand this. 
Let's go ahead. Put the gun down, Steven. Come on, man. Just drop it. Drop the gun. He's back. Put the gun down, man, Steven. Come on, man. You hear that devil? Put the gun down, Steven. Come on now. They not going to beg you, Jakes, to put the gun down. They just going to shoot you. They just going to shoot to kill you. Just like they did that uh, that lady when she was, uh, when she said, in the name of Jesus, and that Edomite said, I'll shoot you in the face and just shot her down. But I'm just using this as, as an example. Drop the gun, Stephen! Drop the gun! Please drop the gun, Stephen! Don't! Please don't do it, Stephen! Drop it! Come on, man, we'll talk about it, all right? Put it down. Put it down, dude. Please put it down. Don't do this. Dude, drop the gun, Steven. Please drop. Just Look at this. See, I, see, I was trying to show you that they play for their own team. And we're trying to get you, Jace, to understand that, too. They're, they're literally begging this dude. This dude is a threat to them because he's armed. And I believe he shot at him one time. And he backed. I think that, if I'm not mistaken, if that, I don't know if that was the cop that let one round go, or was that uh, the other, the guy Steven. But look how they, they he's a threat. So you think they would give a so-called black man this some ample amount of time to drop the gun? No, because they they see you, they know you, Jacob. They know you are the enemy. So when they see you as a threat. You don't even have to have a gun. They see you pull out a cell phone. They, uh, they're gunning you down. All right? But this guy, well, I, I'm just playing. Drop it. Just, just, drop, just drop it. Just drop it right by your feet, dude. Come on, I was up here last month talking to you. Stop. Come on, stop. Don't do it. Steven, do not do it. Don't do it, dude. Come on. This is fixable. Please put it down. Please just drop it. Don't point it at any of us. Thank you. Please. Come, stand up. Stand up. Stand up. I'm putting up. Don't you dare touch me. Don't you dare touch me. Please don't push me down. Now. Because he's an Edomite, they was able to de-escalate de the situation. But DJs, all right, now hold, hold, hold on tight. I'm about to play another video. In the name of Jesus. Away from your hot steam and water. Away from hot steam and water? Yeah. Oh, I would rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Better not. I swear to God, I'll f*** you straight your f***ing face. Sangamon deputy Sean Grayson pulls out his gun as she apologizes and ducks. Okay, I'm sorry. We are pausing the video. Did they try to de-escalate that? And that wasn't even a threat. That that was just weird. That situation. I did a video video on that uh, yesterday, where they just uh, the Esau uh, evil spirit just took over and, and uh, took her out, took that that uh, Jake woman out. And that wasn't. I can't even. The reason why I'm comparing them is because in the first uh, video I showed, they de-escalated that because that was an Edomite. But with this one, it wasn't even a de-escalation problem. The Edomite just went on ahead and shot her. So I'm going to play another one. I'm going to play one. I just want to try to understand where I'm coming from. Outraged this morning after a behavioral therapist was shot by an officer after he held his hands in the air, lying on the ground. His patient with autism sitting right nearby. ABC's Gio Benitez has more on this story. Good morning to you, Gio. Amy, good morning to you. That new video taking social media by storm overnight. The unarmed black behavioral therapist shot by police on the streets of Miami. And police say it all started when they got a call about a man threatening suicide. So that's, an, that's another one. I just want you to see something. I got another one. Hold on. 
of a fight at this Wolf City gas station is how the police shooting death of Jonathan Price, seen here in a green shirt, began. This is Officer Sean Lucas's body camera footage. A jury found him not guilty of Price's murder last week. This video of him shooting the 31-year-old hasn't been seen outside a courtroom by the public until now. I'm sorry about the broken glass right here. Lucas suspected Price was involved in the fight. I can't be detained right now. He tries to detain him, but Price starts to walk away. He is also unarmed. Put your hands behind your back now. Lucas pulls his taser and deploys it while Price's back is turned. He struggles. And when Lucas tells Price to get on the ground, he slowly moves toward him. Still affected by the taser, he reaches his right hand up towards Lucas. That's when Price is shot four times. In court, Lucas used to fire Lucas. Merritt says they got it right. The jury got it wrong. That jury also didn't have a single resident of Wolf City on it, Merritt says, or anyone who was black. Race played a factor in the jury's decision to acquit uh, Sean Lucas. Hunt County is a lot more diverse than what was reflected in the all-white jury. We're standing. If you still Merritt now asking the Department of Justice to review the case to determine if any federal charges should be brought against Lucas. All right, so that's another one. I'm going to play a couple, one more, one or two more. Hold on. Dash cam footage, ex-state trooper Sean Grubert shooting an unarmed man at a gas station after pulling him over for a seatbelt violation back in 2014. Today, Grubert pled guilty to criminal felony assault and now faces up to 20 years in prison. According to investigators, Grubert asked the man to hand over his license, and when the driver turned around to get it, Rupert fired three times. He was fired from the South Carolina Highway Patrol. In Charlotte, North Carolina, a man involved in a car accident over the weekend went looking for help and wound up dead. He was shot again and again by a police officer who is now facing criminal charges. Mark Strassman tells us how it all started. It was 2.30 Saturday morning when 24-year-old Jonathan Farrell swerved off the road in a single car accident. He climbed out the rear window and knocked on the front door of this house looking for help. The startled homeowner thought it was a burglar and called 911. 911, hello? I need help. Police have altered the caller's voice to protect her identity. Is he still in the house? Did he leave yet? I don't know. He's in the front yard yelling. Oh, my God. Three police officers responded. When Farrell ran toward them, Officer Randall Carrick drew his gun and shot Farrell ten times. The dead man was unarmed. I don't want to bury my son. My son should be buried. Officers responded. When Farrell ran toward them, Officer Randall Carrick drew... So, as you look on YouTube about these stories... They're never ending. I mean, this is the last one I'm going to play right on this particular video. But I will be literally years in pulling up on um, how many stories it is on um, how many um, innocent Jakes. Well, we know not as far as uh, judgment innocent but how many jakes have been um shot down like dogs by esau by by this by this mouth by this man by this devil and and the list goes on i mean i i'll be i, I would be literally years of videos of these incidents happening all throughout this country and it's, it's happening to Jake, and, and, and it's still happening. By the, this this uh, lady, uh, so, what was her name, Sonya? Um, I forgot the name. But it just happened out in Illinois. This uh, this uh, Edomite that just killed her. Let me go back. Uh, yeah, it's numerous amount of um, incidents that happened like this. Oh, the, just the one, um, the, the, the airman, the airman. Um, I meant to play that one. He just came to the door and, and, a, and a cop uh, slaughtered him right down. He had the gun pointed down, which, you know, in this country, if you're a black man, but I don't know whether he knew that he was still a so-called black man, but 
you come to your door with a gun. But he didn't know because he didn't know the police was out there. You know? But, see, these we had these video, videos out there to warn you. You know? But this incident that just happened is, uh, is going nationwide. Now, would uh, these... Uh, the, the elites, would they use that for a, a psyop? Of course. You know, because these, um, they try to pit certain things in the media to sway the people, to get you to vote for um, your own downfall. Now, we know we're not ignorant, ignorant of Satan devices, you know? So, what I'll further do, I'll get some scriptures. We'll go to the scriptures from here on. on. All right, this is Psalms chapter 73. I'll start at, uh, I'll start at three. For I was ignorant, so like it, for I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. Yeah, so we're not supposed to be, um, you know, looking at these wicked people as they getting over and be envious of them. We don't want nothing Esau got you. You got yours. You got your piece of the kingdom. All right. But we're going to get ours. That's why the scriptures say you store up your treasure in heaven. You know, um, the men of the Lord, we got bank accounts. You know, Lord willing, we are that number. But if we are, we got bank accounts in heaven. Because we're storing up our treasures in heaven. You know. Um, but any old way, it says. For there are no bands in their death but their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men. Who's in trouble? Um, is, who's, who's the one that's always in trouble? It's Jacob. But these wicked, these wicked Edomites, they never get caught. It seems like they don't never get caught on this side. They could kill a woman and most likely they'll do some jail time and they'll, they might, they might do some jail time. They, they'll get with a white supremacist uh, group and they'll um, they might let him out in like two three years and give him another job. He'll have another executive job. They'll they'll might even uh, have his GoFundMe sky high. They'll even he'll have a top job as a white supremacist because when you kill in that organization with these wicked Edomites, if you kill a black person, you 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 boot it up. You know you don't think that the heavenly Father. It's going to remember that because y'all got to come back. Y'all got to come back in the kingdom. You Edomites, you so-called white people got to come back in the kingdom. You don't think the Lord going to put the spirit on his people to remember every, all the foolishness and the wickedness that you did to us, all the killings that you did to us throughout the generations? Man, y'all got it coming. And the Lord going to slow that time down, boy. A day going to be a day again. These days, these ain't no days. The Lord sped up the time. These days are, these days are like, man, they like hours for real. Like, like back then, during during slavery, that that uh, a day probably was like felt like a week. These days, right here, man, there ain't nothing. Man, in the kingdom, one day is gonna feel like a month to you, motherfuckers, man. The Lord going to slow that time back. One day my, it's going to feel like a month. That time going to drag, boy. Or a week. It's going to be, it's going, oh, man. They are not in, tr uh, are in trouble as other men. Neither are they plagued like other men, you know? Uh, and who's the, the one that's always in trouble? Jake. Man, um. So we're, we're the one at Obadiah. Let's get Obadiah. Um, though they, um, I want the one where he said, uh, here you go, Obadiah 1 and 10. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, because you were our brothers, but you broke the brotherly covenant. All right, you're not our brother. You, you are as far as um, how you came in this world with Isaac and Jacob. 
But after that, you 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 are a whole nother nation. The Lord said, two nations are in thy womb. You never was with us. Even when Moses was, we was going leaving Egypt. You didn't want you didn't want us to walk through that land. And I and that king, that king that was in Edom, that king that didn't want uh to put the water out, that didn't want us to walk through the land and even get any water or anything. That was Esau. That was Esau reincarnated. So you devils always had uh, uh, um, an indignation against us. And we got one against you. We hate you devils too. And you're going to find out that in the kingdom. You're going to really find out that in the kingdom. Here it is. It says, uh, shame for thy violence against thy brother Jacob. Shame shall cover thee. Yeah, you're going to be ashamed. What you did in the kingdom, but you're gonna get it, you're gonna get that payback. And thou shalt be cut off forever. So you're gonna be begging for mercy. It says, In the day uh that thou stoodest on the other side, in the day that the strangers carried away captive his forces and foreigners us into, into his gates. Right. When the Babylonians were taking us down, you were right right beside them. When all these other nations were uh had their way with us, you ain't come in and help us out. You 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 joined in. It says, and cast lots un upon Jerusalem and foreigners. Um, it says, strangers carried away captives as forces and foreigners into, into his gates and cast lots upon Jerusalem. Even thou was one of them, see? But thou should have not have looked on the day of thy brother and the day that he became a stranger. Uh, neither shouldest thou has rejoiced over the children of Judah in the day of their destruction. Neither shouldest thou have spoken proudly in the day of their distress. And you did, you did that, you doing that now. You know, you proud as Edomites. It says, um, thou, uh, thou shouldest not have entered into the gates of my people in the day of their calamity. Yeah, thou shouldest not have looked on their affliction. In the day of their calamity, nor had laid hands on their substance in the day of their calamity. Neither should have thou had stood in the crossway to cut off those of uh, his that did escape. Neither should have thou had delivered up those of his that did remain in the day of the distress. It says, for the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathens. Yeah, including you, Esau, as thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return unto on, upon thine own head see so you're going to get that reward it's coming um i want to go to revelations 8 and we'll close it out um i wanted to get the one where it say double here it is this is revelations 18 and uh five I said, for her sins have reached into the heavens, and Yahweh Bashemi Awashai have remembered her iniquities. You did so much sin in Esau, it, it had reached the heavens. It says, reward her, reward even as she rewarded you, and double unto her double according to her works, and the cup which she had filled, filled to her double. So, guess what, you devil? You're going to get double. So keep on, keep it up because that's just going to only add on double what we're going to do to you. You see? Yeah. So I, I hey, Lord willingness is edifying to the body. Till again, shalom.